Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and in the next couple of videos, I want to talk about how we can set up a Kubernetes cluster using a tool called Rancher. Um, this, so what I'm showing you here, this is actually my Kubernetes cluster that I have running on my home lab. Um, so I have a uh, just an old Dell R710 server, and I've deployed this Kubernetes cluster here. And you can see it's composed of uh, four, four different VMs I have running inside the server. So one of them is designated as a master and the rest are worker nodes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how I did this. It's pretty simple, Rancher makes it uh, really easy and uh, I'm, I'm impressed so far. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm actually gonna log into, or actually first, let me show you the architecture diagram here. So this is kind of what I have going on currently. Um, so a lot of the time Kubernetes doesn't really get deployed on a, an old Dell R710 server. It gets deployed in the cloud somewhere, but this is just uh, my home lab experiment. Um, so at the top level, we have this R710 server. Uh, under that we have uh, ESXi, which is a hypervisor installed. And on there we have a bunch of VMs. So this cluster is gonna be composed of four different uh, Ubuntu virtual machines. And then we install Rancher on the virtual machines and then um, it kind of helps orchestrate and deploy this Kubernetes cluster. Um, so just high level, like some of the steps we're gonna do. Step one is just, we're gonna create four Ubuntu VMs, uh, install Docker on, on all four of them. Uh, and then on one of them, we need to install the Rancher server and that, that server is gonna act as the master node. And at that point, so this is just a Docker image we can pull um, and, and deploy that way. And at that point, we can access Rancher uh, in a browser and create something called a cluster. And like that's what I was showing you here. This is the uh, browser interface. Uh, we'll create a cluster and then configure one as the master node and, and configure the rest as worker nodes and install kubectl and then profit. <laughs> then you're, you're good to go. You're uh, off and running. So let's go ahead over to my server actually and I'm gonna shut down some of my VMs, my current cluster, because I need more resources. Um, so these four VMs, I'm just gonna shut down because I don't have enough uh, RAM and I wanna start from the, I wanna show you everything from the start. So let me just give that a few seconds until it sh they all shut down. All right, we got one more running. Okay, so now they're all shut down. So next, just create your VMs. So this is gonna vary for everyone. It depends on how your, you know, how, what your setup's like. I'm using ESXi, but I used to use Proxmox, but whatever you're doing, just, uh, we need four Ubuntu VMs. So let's call this, um, I'm gonna call it YouTube K8S, which is Kubernetes, stands for Kubernetes. And this will be our master node. It's gonna be Linux, um, Ubuntu, 64-bit. And just pick where your storage is. Now I'm gonna install or two CPUs and eight gigs of memory is what I'm going to configure these with. And let's just give it 20 gigabytes of storage. They don't really need that much storage because usually you'll store most of your data somewhere else outside of the cluster. Um, now I just need to pick my ISO file. So this is just the, the Ubuntu image, which I have somewhere here. And then I'm just going to launch it. And I'm gonna go through that process three more times. And I know I can probably uh, just copy a template and make it from a template, but I'm just gonna do it the, uh, the long way and just make four totally, um, just totally from this menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll make one worker and then I'll just pause the video and make the rest. Uh, so YouTube, uh, what was that format? KAS worker one, Linux, Ubuntu, you said two, CPU, eight gigs, and 20.
So I'm using Ubuntu 20, whatever the most recent 20 version is. All right, and finish that. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing for worker node two and three. All right, so now I have these four uh, virtual machines and they're currently not running. So I need to turn all four of them on and then we need to install the operating system. So I'll show you, I'll go through the process of one operating system and then I'll do the rest um, myself. So let's see here, let's work on the master. So I'm just gonna open the console up here and install the server. It's usually pretty quick. And this is where it might come in handy to just do this once, make a template out of it and then um, create the VMs from a template, but it's not that, it's not gonna save that much time. I mean, if you had to do like a hundred maybe. All right, so pick your language, update to the new installer. All right, uh, that's fine. So hit done, 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 done. Now I don't like using LVM groups, so I'm just gonna hit spacebar so it doesn't make an LVM group. Um, then hit done and done. All right, so I'm just gonna call this um, you or my name. So franchise nine two three servers name. Let's call this YouTube. KAS dash master username and a password and install open SSH. So this will allow us to SSH into it. And that's what I'm going to do as soon as this gets installed instead of working in like this, uh, this little console window in the browser. I don't really like that. And then hit done and done. All right, so this is gonna take like five, five, 10 minutes. So I'll pause the video and I'll see you when it finishes. All right, so this install finished about 10 minutes later. So I'm just gonna reboot it real fast. And I just wanna get the IP address of it quickly. And then I'm gonna do uh, the same process for the three worker nodes. And I'm gonna write down the IPs of those as well. And then we will SSH into each of them and install Docker on all of them. So let me just, this is gonna be our master. So let me get the IP of it real fast. All right, it is 192.168.0.180. So, 192.168. And if you accidentally got rid of the screen, you can just say IF config, and it'll show you right there, or IPA will show it as well. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do the same process for uh, the three worker nodes. All right, so it, it, I finished installing um, Ubuntu on all three of these worker nodes. So I'm actually gonna minimize this and we're gonna SSH into them. So I have uh, all four IPs right here. So I'm just going to um, SSH into them. So I'm on a, a, a Mac, so I can just go to um, uh, where is that new remote connection? So if you're on Windows, you can use something like putty is what I usually use um, And I'm just going to connect so the user is franchise 923 and the first one is 180 So I'll just connect to that All 
All right, and we know that this is going to be our master, so I'm just going to put this kind of up at the top, and, and then we'll connect to the other workers. So uh, 217, that's worker 1. Just throw that over there. And then worker 2 is 145. Throw that down here, and then our, our third worker is 185. Cool. All right, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. In the next video, I'm going to, be going to update all these nodes and install Docker on them, and then we'll, we'll start installing Rancher. So um, just uh, hang on, stick around, and, and we'll We'll get this thing up and running. Thanks for watching.